When we first saw Qualcomm's ad for the SBA program, we had just experienced a rare sales decline with an uncertain outlook. The loan positive was our designation as an essential business, but how to keep our team from going down to the virus was a big question mark. Our operation was not built for social distancing, and that was the central theme of our video application, if you recall. Going into 2020, we had two top level objectives for our company. The first was to replace our legacy order process with Microsoft's latest SQL Server technology. We call that project NPI 3.0. The second was to achieve ISO 9001 registration for our company's business. When COVID hit, we put the ISO on hold, but we continued to develop NPI 3.0. With the SPXs coming in second half of year, we thought it was a good idea to put all three programs on the same track because they are all interrelated. On November 12th, we received the shipment of SPXs, immediately issued one to our IT developer to begin porting our primary operating application to the SPX. A week later, the program was hot and we began working with the SPX to understand how to best leverage its capabilities. By early December, it was clear the SPX was much more than an instrument to put space between our staff. It was transformative to our company. First, we made the physical accommodations for the SPX at the operator's stations. The magnetic hinge feature is handy to place the SPX on the controller of each machine. The small tools used by the operators were relocated to newly installed drawers at each station. We installed Microsoft Teams on every SPX and desktop with a user account for each operator. This is completely new to us, so it was a bit of a challenge. On January 12th, the messages began flying. We identified and installed an app, Drawboard, for annotating and saving PDF documents and created a master form for our client specifications. Then we began digitizing thousands of existing client specifications into a central folder accessible from each SPX. We also identified and installed an app working hours to replace the time cards in time clock touch point. We created a series of instructional videos on the operation and troubleshooting of our equipment viewable by each operator. I have to say the video quality and performance of Qualcomm enabled Wi-Fi 6 mesh nodes is outstanding. And on February 9th, 10 days after issuing the SPXs to our operators, we trained the team on each of these apps and invited them to engage them at their own comfortable pace. We've now commissioned our IT developer to create an app called Jobs that will document each job we do with input, output, and timestamp replacing two additional touch points, our worksheets and our change book. All of these changes must be documented, trained, and released for ISO compliance. Literally every evening when I drive home, another idea for using this equipment hits my brain matter. The total impact of the Qualcomm SBA program on NPI materials will be massive, but it's impossible to assign metrics yet. We're putting together a baseline of our existing processes so that in time we'll be able to quantify the impact of your investment in ours. Once we're operating solely on the new apps, we'll be able to calculate all the net advantages that I truly believe will be very exciting to Qualcomm.